on to my discussion of current liabilities. I last went on the times interest earned ratio. This ratio, this ratio helps us learn how to evaluate a business's ability to pay for interest in taxes. Another way to say that is it helps us evaluate the risk of a business. We've now learned several ratios throughout the semester aimed at measuring a business's liquidity, its efficiency, and its risk. So, this one is another risk measure. Let's get down the formula. It's an IBIT. It's an earnings before interest and taxes. Earnings before interest and taxes divided by the businesses interest expense. Notice in our numerator we take net income and add back interest and taxes because we're measuring our ability to pay interest and taxes. Take a little different approach like I sometimes do and use financial statements to help us see this one. I made a quite condensed income statement for you here. Revenue minus expenses equals operating income. Taking kind of a multi-step format. Plus interest expense is income before taxes and then taxes and net income. And the reason I chose to do this version of an income statement is this is the one you usually find in financial statements and annual reports. So we'll take our earnings, which is net income, 129500 and add back our interest, which is 15000 and add back our income taxes, which is 55500 and then you get the kind of famous nickname, IBIT, earnings before interest and taxes, and then we'll divide that by our interest expense, in our case $15,000. What do you get? In our case, the answer is 13.33. We can pay our interest out of our earnings 13.3 times. It's a level of risk for us. It's our cushion. Sometimes when you can't make your, ta your debt payments, you're allowed to just make your interest payments, but never less than that. And that tells you how many times you could do that. The real power of this ratio is like the real power of all ratios. When you look at it over a period of time and do a trend analysis, and when you do comparisons, look at yourself compared to your major competitors. And you can see if it's improving, holding about the same, or becoming weaker. In this book we've learned so far many different ratios, ways of looking at financial statements. And after you've done all of the ones we've learned so far, you're going to walk away from this as an investor feeling warm and fuzzy or cold and prickly. Can't tell you what the answer will be. It's an art, not a science. We're trying to help you learn to decide how you feel about a particular situation. Well, thank you for joining me for the ratios. Um, semester. We'll talk to you soon.